When we enjoy music, it tends to be such a joyous, personal, and sometimes spiritual experience. We don't stop and take time to think about the origins of really what we're hearing. Yeah, and so many times the roots of the music we love can take us back on a journey through history, connecting not only just genres and styles that we might not expect. And this is definitely the case when it comes to blues and gospel music. And here with us to delve into the backstory is park ranger Tim Van Cleve and park guide Lawson Wakudo, both with the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad National Historical Park. Gentlemen, Good afternoon. welcome Good afternoon. to the show today. Good afternoon. Pleasure being here. So this year marks Harriet Tubman's bicentennial. Uh, can you talk about some of the ways the park has uh, celebrated in the past? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we've had a myriad of different programs to help celebrate this momentous occasion. Uh, we've had downtown walking tours. Uh, we've done partnership programs with um, other people uh, in the National Park Service and State Park and other things like with our Harriet Tubman um, tour and this is our latest program um, from from um, spirituals to gospel the um, multi-century uh, program and event that we're hosting mm -hmm. and so if somebody comes out to this event what can people expect from it they're going to get a walk through a, a program where you know we're going to start with spirituals that were very important to Harriet Tubman's life and you know <clears throat> from the 1800s well into the 20th century, how that progressed into the blues and then later gospel music. And, you know, helping us with that are our partners. And so the different performers will be doing different aspects of, you know, the spirituals, blues, and then the gospel music. Mm -hmm. So what uh, significance does the history of American slavery and the exposure to Christianity have on the creation of these uh, African-American spirituals? Um, that's an excellent question. So um, that's really a story telling about the history of African Americans and how they used um, music as a way to document that history. Um, so as we know, the first the first enslaved people came to America in 1619, and with them they brought um, African rhythms at, and the rituals and the ideas from from back in the the motherland. And it was there where they started mixing with the um, Christian Christian psalms and music that they're able to combine those aspects to create spirituals. And then from there, those spirituals evolved into what we would know as blues and gospel music. Interesting. I love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, communicating through song was one of those gifts that Harriet Tubman shared with everybody around her. Why do you think the messages through those songs have endured for so long? Um, I think they provide uh, hope, comfort, re resiliency. Mm -hmm. You know, very, mm -hmm. Harry Tubman, when you think of, re Harry Tubman, you think of resiliency. And um, I think as it progressed, um, they saw that as an outlet, a way for their, a, an emotional outlet and a way to get um, stories across. Are there any particular artists or singers that you can think of who um, strongly represent the historical connection between blues and gospel? Absolutely. Um, one that just jumps to mind is uh, Bruce Sunpie Barnes. He's going to be a musician uh, with his own crew called the Louisiana Sunspots. Mm -hmm. And they are, he has been a park ranger in the past. He has mm -hmm. done so many great things. He's He's toured all over the country, all over the world, and um, he's really um, has this great knack of mixing in interpretation with yeah. his own musical talents. Um, mm -hmm. And I think he's a really good representation of um, t using music to um, talk about history and to really interpret meaning and connect that meaning to the public. Hmm. Can you guys give us the details, the what's and when's of this event? Absolutely. So this program will be taking place at 800 Robin Street at the Greater Refuge Temple Church of God. It will be starting at 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And we're going to have a host of interpreters, living history performers, and of course mus musicians and singers um, all there to uh, help interpret and, and uh, celebrate the life and legacy of Harry Tubman and African-American music. And, and that's it's this, this Saturday. Saturday. This Saturday, yes. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Tim Van Thank Cleve you. and Lawson Wakudo from the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad National Historical Park. Thank you, well, guys. Thank you.